is ready to walk with Elias. I'm so excited. I can tell. Introducing first, from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 222 pounds, Elias. Listen, I can't deny his in-ring ability, but when it comes to his music, I got no time for Elias. He's got his own album, Corey. How can you deny what this man is all about? When it comes from in the ring, bell to bell, absolutely. I've got all the respect in the world for what Elias is capable of. But when he strums his guitar, it makes my ears bleed. What actually The lone wolf about to pray. Baron Corbin, a WWE superstar who does not care what you think, what you feel. Baron Corbin's only concern in this world is Baron Corbin. And his partner, from Kansas City, weighing in at 275 pounds, Baron Corbin. A perfect hybrid athlete, size, speed, strength, and skill. Baron Corbin, one of the most dominant forces to attack a WWE ring in recent memory. Former Money in the Bank contract holder. Former United States champion, winner of an Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal, the Lone Wolf. WWE Universe, here comes the reckoning. Nightmares are real, and, and they look opponents. like Harper and Rowan. At a combined weight of 590 pounds, Harper and Rowan, the Bludgeon Brothers. Two men armed with unforgiving souls. Calloused hearts. The soldiers of Armageddon. It's like a horror movie come to life. The tag team action underway here. It's come down to a battle of attrition right now. Nail. Ooh, what impact. Oh, oh, oh man.
tossed around like a rag doll. This might be it. Oh, my. He's looking at it. He looks a bit off his game here. This tag team match can get out of hand quickly if he, he forces his way free. Man, he just has so much resolve. In order to be a premier tag team, a superstar and their teammate must have that continuity where they're a well-oiled machine inside the ring. I'm talking about classic techniques like cutting the ring in half, isolating your opponent, relegating them to your corner, and making frequent tags so that the fresh man is always in the ring. That's how you keep your opponents off balance. Thunderous slam. Elias getting put in check here. Corey, a few moments ago, you took us through what it takes for a tag team to be successful. The continuity between tag team partners is crucial. When a team is able to keep one opponent in the ring for an extended period of time without making a tag, they're able to focus their attack on one individual and one body part. And that's when things really start to take shape if you're on the tag team that's in control of the match. When you look at the tag teams who have dominated this business, all of them worked well together as a unit and were able to keep an opponent in the ring long enough to make that adversary the focal point of their assault. Elias really proved that he was tougher than the rest. When he earned a spot amongst Raw, his shoulders are down. And a kick out. Oh, there's still a chance that we'll hear more from Elias. Is it really that bad? Elias definitely in a tough spot now. If they want to win this match, he really needs to make a tag soon. Let's revisit Elias' chamber performance. It was yet another instance of Braun Strowman interrupting Elias. That was the one night I would have been okay with an Elias concert, mostly because those pods seemed soundproof. I'll give Elias credit. Even though he hid in his pod for an extra five minutes to avoid Strowman, he almost scored a few pinfalls before Strowman caught up with him and ended Elias' tour of the Elimination Chamber. He's in control. Elias in action here, and his in-ring skills have really caught up to his exceptional musical skills. Guys, what sort of strategy do you use against this sinister songsmith? Michael, you didn't mention that a lot of Elias' success has manifested. Shoulders down! One! Hurricane Rana! What a Hurricane Rana! What a stop! He might have it. Corey, going back to Byron's point about Elias' greatest hits with that guitar, do you think his sneak attacks have aided in his success as of late? Look, there are a lot of reasons why I dislike Elias. His awful scarves, those disgusting robes I'm pretty sure he stole from his grandmother, his awful, atrocious music, but I won't fault a man for bending the rules to get ahead. Hey, break all your guitars, Elias. Preferably before you perform. Baron Corbin gets the tag. In May of 2017, SmackDown Live saw an incredible women's tag team match when Charlotte Flair and Becky Lynch squared off against welcoming committee members Natalya and Carmella. The rivalry between these women got so intense that Naomi was in Flair and Lynch's corner, and Tamina was in Natalya and Carmella's corner. group as treacherous as the welcoming committee could bring Becky Lynch and Charlotte Flair back together. Natalia's power set the tone for the match and gave her team an advantage. That was until Carmella's overconfidence let the Irish last kicker turn the tide and get back into the match. And then it was elementary from there for the Irish-born superstar. Naomi did an excellent job of making sure any quote-unquote committee nonsense cost her girls the match. Once Becky Lynch got Carmella locked into this armor, there was nothing for the Staten Island Princess to do but to tap out. And it didn't take long for that to happen. Tag Team history was made when the first ever SmackDown Tag Team Champions were crowned at Backlash 2016. The unlikely duo of Rhino and Heath Slater caught lightning in a bottle and ran through the Tag Team Title Tournament. In the finals, Rhino is... He's not going to go quietly. No superstar worth his salt ever does. When this guy's on... Look out. 
There was a lot on the line in the Tag Team Tournament Finals. The Usos wanted to add another Tag Team title reign to the resume and enjoyed the recognition of being the first ever SmackDown Tag Team Champions. The team of Rhino and Heath Slater was the team no one expected to be in the... Back suplex. Oh, no. Not the... Oh, oh my goodness. Crushing it. Oh, what an air cut. Oh, distance there. He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. Baron Corbin. Oh. Looking a little shaken here. Headed into this match, he and his partner look extremely confident. It looks to me like his partner's itching to get in there. And now might be a good time to give him what he wants. This isn't his first rodeo. He had to expect to take on some offense here tonight. Tagged in. The tag team scene here in WWE is undergoing a bit of a renaissance, and it's because of action like this. What does Baron Corbin need to do now? This is not where he wants to be right now, guys. He's not looking good, and at this point, he has no option but to make it to his corner and get his partner in there. This is one of the more evenly... They're gonna lock it in here. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Whoa, he, he works his way out. A bit of a Houdini job right there. See square up against each other right now. This is amazing. Another great tag team match here tonight. I don't think the tag team scene has ever been hotter here in WWE. Bulldog. the tag. Oh, what a crash. Oh, and he connects. There's no reason to lose your foot in a move like that. Come on, toughen up. Beautiful technique. He's stumbling some now. This tag team match is dangerously close to getting out of control for him. He's looked great up until now, and it's imperative that he doesn't lose focus and let his opponent back into this match. Oh, the 
vicious head crank. Look at the torque. match in recent memory that was even close to as good as that one was. That was just one of those matches that the men involved should just be proud to be a part of. A legendary performance. That was just one of those matches that the men involved should just be proud to be a part of. A legendary performance.
Here are your winners, Harper and Rowan, the Bludgeon Brothers. That may have been one of the most painful submission moves we've seen in a long time. I can honestly say that a